Hello, welcome to the first video of the series Study the Studies. In this video, we will examine the study by the composer named Ring. He composed this in 1908. And let's get to it. So, as you can see, it is a rook ending and White has this far advanced, oops, I didn't want to do that, <laughs> far, far advanced C pawn, <clears throat> and black has two connected passed pawns. So, if black could somehow stop this pawn, then these two might become usable. But it is white's turn, turn to move. So, when I was looking at this, the first thing that came to mind was a move rook e5. Well, the point of this move would be to lure black rook into an awkward spot, and then when we push the pawn, this rook is having a hard time stopping it. I mean, he cannot do much, he can give it back, but after I move here, there is no clear way to stop the C pawn. But instead of capturing White's rook, Black could defend smarter. He could, for example, go here, and now this pawn is stopped. And also, this one is about to fall if this rook does anything active. For example, if White takes on e7, then the d5 pawn drops. C pawn is stopped, and these two will become very dangerous. So, rook e5 is not such a great idea. That's why you have to look for another ways to win this. And the move that I made accidentally. So I look back, is c7, and that is actually the winning move. It's not the only winning move, as it turns out, but it's the one that composer had in mind when composing this. So, white is threatening to promote to a queen, and there is only one move to stop that, that is putting the rook behind the pawn. But now, comes a really nice move, b6. What is the idea of this move? Well, at first, if black doesn't capture this pawn, then this pawn will proceed forward, and when two pawns are on the seventh rank, they cannot be stopped. stopped. One of them is going to make a queen. That's why black has to take. And now we can do a thing like this, rook h1. The point being that now that the d6 square is taken, black cannot take on c7. Why? Let's see why. We can give a check along the d file, and when the pin goes up, and when we give another check, because this square is taken, the black pin cannot go back to defend the rook, so it has to go to the other side, and we pick up the rook. Well, you might think, okay, we have lost a rook, but we have so many pawns as black, so maybe we can make some counterplay with them. That is true, but it will not work. As you can see, let's say we push as black, the white will use his trump, the remaining f pawn. I mean, if white didn't have this f pawn, then it's... Not easy to say what would happen here, but this way it's very simple. Let's say black pushes, white also pushes. Now let's say you help with your king, and we just launch this pawn up the board, and he is going to decide the game. We just have to pay attention when black is about to queen to stop him. He has to support his a pawn with the king. And now we keep pushing, and when he 
make a queen. We will also make a queen, but our queen will actually stay alive. So that's why taking on c7 is not possible. And if you take the rook, we are just going to queen. That's basically it. Uh, one more thing to note. Let's say that you didn't want to take a queen, but that you wanted to make some move along the C file. Well, then simply we can give a check and wherever black king goes, this C pawn will promote because the rook is no longer defending his promotion square. Also, if uh, this rook would go somewhere a little bit higher, we can also give a check and when the king moves, we can give another check and force the exchange of rooks and after that queen the c pawn. So basically after rook h1, black is forced to take and then we make a queen and this is a winning position. White will slowly pick up these pawns and on top of that, even if black somehow protects them, there is an f pawn that will just go forward. Well, somewhere during the previous monologue that I have here, I said that c7 was not the only winning move. I found that by putting this position, by giving this position to evaluate, um, by giving this position to Stockfish to uh, evaluate it. And he, it obvious, it immediately showed that there is another way to win, and that is with the move rook h8. Well, at the time when this was composed, there were no engines. So, I don't know if any of human players found this other solution, but since this is published in some books, and on the internet as well, they probably haven't found it. Or at least many people don't know about it. So what's the point? Well, with rook h8, we are planning to support the c4, c, c pawn from the side. The simple support will be presented if, let's say, black is deep and just push and no matter what black does we are gonna make the queen on the next move the best thing black can do is just sacrifice his rook for the newly born queen and try somehow to hold this but as in one of the similar positions that arose from the main line this is just not possible let's say he pushes we just go behind that pawn, and let's say he goes here. All we need to do is somehow make this king move a little bit and approach with the king, take this pawn and make a new queen. Note that these two pawns, they cannot advance by themselves. Because if this one moves, he's going to drop, and if this one moves, then this one is dropping and the other one with him. So this would be one possible continuation. Black defense, and as I said earlier, we approach with our king. Our goal is to snap this pawn off and make a clear path for the f pawn to become a queen. In the process, we might give a rook for one of these two pawns, depending on the situation. And let's just see. Let's say black access, we can go back, he pushes, and we can start marching the f pawn. Well, king has to support this one, it cannot go forward by itself. We do our plan, he goes with the b pawn, we proceed on taking the e pawn, and now, yes, black will force us to give the rook, as I said earlier, 
that was all part of the plan because now we are just in time to win this if black had one tempo saved somehow he could now make a, a draw but the weapon only reached his seventh rank or second depending on which position you look so this position is lost it's very simple you just force the king in front of this pawn and then you advance with your own king you will make black in few moves it's very simple actually i will do a video about that but i can just show you basically this is what you're doing and give him a check and then at one point he will have to either step in front of the pawn or if he goes to the side he will lose the pawn so when he steps in front you just proceed with the king and that's what you do you repeat this maneuver and at one point your king will be somewhere near the black king and you will deliver the mate so that was the study i hope you liked it it has only one flow I mean, in my eyes, it's not a flow, but probably for composers, this could be counted as a flow since it has two solutions. Besides c7, rook h8 is possible. Although this one is obviously more aesthetic with all this that happened later. I hope you enjoyed the video and goodbye.